More now of our series, The Mystery of Faith. If you were to ask Miss Manners what topics to avoid when attending a dinner party, religion would be right up there at the top. But why is it so difficult to talk about? Well, we threw caution to the wind and brought together a very diverse group. David Foster is an evangelical Christian and author of A Renegade's Guide to God. Mary Schenk, a married lawyer, is an Episcopalian. Sam Harris, author of Letter to a Christian Nation, is an atheist. And finally, Colleen Nadler, a married teacher and mom, is a conservative Christian. I asked them, is there a place for religion in American society? More people attend church in this country one weekend than all the professional and amateur sports and other events put together. Right. So there's something going on. This oh, is yeah. real. One thing that really concerns me is that we have this myth in our society that we can keep religion out of politics, that, that somehow the First Amendment builds a wall high enough. I don't think the First Amendment does build a wall. It sets us free. The freedom to express, it's freedom of religion, not freedom from religion. And, you know, we have the right to express it. But the Constitution, the Bible, it's all a living being that we bring ourselves to. And we've got to be careful that we don't impose our own religious values on other people. But when you look at a lot of the key issues, though, that we're dealing with right now, religion is involved, whether it's stem cell, gay marriage, prayer in school, faith-based initiatives, all of those involve religion. Can you separate out church from state? Not entirely, because we are... We as citizens bring all that we are to the table. And for those of us who have faith, you're bringing that to your political decisions. But we can be mindful of the dangers of having religion Absolutely. influence the public arena and where we can make sure we have safeguards to keep it a personal and issue. What is this? So if you take religion out and ban it, then someone no, else's no set of values comes in. Well, it is no, happening no in our country. Well, no, I want to hear you it is happening in our time. country where it has been taken out of the public schools. You're not allowed to bring your Bible. You're not allowed to say a prayer. You're not allowed to say Merry Christmas. Well, now at Walmart, actually. Walmart now decided... Right, but they're the one. And so there is a movement to suppress religious expression. But when you have things, I guess, like prayer in schools and those who don't subscribe to it would say, well, you're not allowing me to exercise my... But if I pray, I am not forcing him to accept Jesus as a Savior. You know, he may not like to hear me pray, and I may not like to hear a Muslim pray, but but in our country, we have that right. The problem I see with faith is that it it takes certain beliefs off the table of conversation. Give me an example. Same-sex marriage. Mm I, you know, if you believe that same-sex marriage is wrong in your church, then fine, your church should not offer that sacrament. The government should treat all of its citizens the same. That, that's the thing. We, uh, governments don't treat everyone the same. We're, people are treated differently. But that's just, the they, way they our country is set up. Said, no you know, one can impose their set of values on someone else. But you don't want to get married to a woman. That don't. Yeah. Yeah. But Correct, that, don't but tell me I can't marry a woman if that's what I want to do. People impose their beliefs on people all the time. You can't get in a car in this city and go any speed you choose. We're going to treat you differently if you do that. Because you and can do that. You can kill Well, that's right. We, we There's an talk. argument What's that led to that decision. Meredith and I getting married is not going to kill anybody. Don't tell anyone that. <laughs> there are all kinds of laws that we have that we make moral choices on. But see, here's the problem. I just saw the problem. You immediately say you're wrong about that. That's, 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 that's this the is the problem. Right we don't trust each other. We don't believe we don't each, each other. We have a wall here. I mean, how to resolve this in the span of a few minutes. Honest, lettered people disagree with this issue. But the problem is you want your values taught. I want equal treatment. Correct. And what is wrong equal. with that? And, and if you want Called a certain evolution. set of values, then create your Christian school and but send no, your children there. Talking. I think there's just a war of ideas we have to wage with ourselves here. We have to figure out uh, how we are going to live in a 21st century uh, with all of these competing moral communities. Can we not believe in something very deeply and still like each other and have an open conversation? I think because our country regulates religion so much and kind of bans it in certain places, that that has caused this atmosphere of people not discussing their religions with each other. We talk at each other, we talk about each other, and so we all feel in some way assaulted because we, we caricature each other rather than hearing the honest reasons why we either embrace faith or don't embrace faith and respecting each other because of it. 
And full disclosure, our little chat lasted more than an hour and a half. Our Pamela found that while talking is important, most of the issues that divided them at the beginning divided them at the end as well.